you have said that Andrew was the main reason you wanted to work in this film. Why? Well, obviously because I'd, I'd seen Wally and Nemo and, and Toy Story and all the films he made for Pixar. And uh, so I knew he was a sort of master storyteller. And uh, then when I met him, he spoke for an hour in the audition, uh, which normally lasts two minutes, and explaining his vision and, and the story and showing pictures and video and stuff. And um, so you straight away realize that he's an extraordinary guy and, and uh, a good guy to work for. Dominic, this is a super production filmed in many locations, studios around the world, and based on a classic. Who invited you to be part of this party? Well, I suppose Andrew Stanton did. And uh, it was not a party I knew anything about. It was not, I didn't know the books and I didn't, um, uh, I hadn't even heard of them. And, and um, so I was delighted to meet him and, and him to explain it all. And, and the interesting thing is that it's a, the sort of granddaddy of all the science fiction. And, and so when you hear words like Jeddak and stuff, which I thought was a, stolen from Star Wars, it's actually Star Wars stole it from John Carter. So, so uh, it's, um, it's exciting that it's finally come out. That don't look like a fair fight. And Earth is next. What do you think about this amazing story written 100 years ago? Well, I think, um, I think if you go back to the book, it's, it's, there's a lot of problems with it for us today. That There's not much, um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of areas that we would find distasteful or politically wrong. And, and so what Andrew Stanton did with the story was, was an amazing achievement, really. I mean, it's a really interesting story. There's a guy out of a Western, out of the um, Confederate War, who's transported to Mars and falls in love with the princess on Mars. And, and that's, um, you know, that's a great fantasy that uh, I can, we can all relate to. John Carter is a young man and a hero too. He lives in between two worlds. What would you like most about John Carter? Well, I suppose what endears me to him, or, or I think anyone in the audience, is at the opening we see him as a guy who is a maverick, who's an outsider, who can't fit in, who's uh, fed up with fighting wars and um, can't be constrained and breaks out of jail, breaks out of interrogation, breaks out of the army. And um, so he's a, he's a tough guy, but one who's got a heart and soul, I think. You are John Carter of Earth? Yes, ma'am. 